and so today we're going to be doing a quick spiral review and we're going to be reviewing what part part whole means with regards to addition. So I want you to pause the video and write down part part whole under the keyword portion of your template on your journal. All right. And then under description, I want you to write down a better way to understand addition. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We are going to be practicing part, part, whole. So you may remember in kindergarten how we did part, part, whole with our number bonds. Okay, and this is how our number bonds looked like when we were in kindergarten. We would do 10 as our whole, and if six was one of our parts, the other part would have been four because six and four made 10, or six plus four equals 10. We're going to be taking the same concept and we're going to do the same thing um, in second grade, except instead of drawing circles, we're going to draw a big rectangle. And have our part, part, whole, okay? So our part, part, whole here would have been four plus six equals 10. You might remember this from kindergarten as well. All right, the part, part, whole that we will be doing this year, we'll be looking at the size of the numbers and we're, we'll be working with numbers bigger than 10. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle again. And let's say the problem I have is 12 plus 40. I need to think about 12 plus 40. The way I'm going to draw that on my part, part, whole diagram, I'm going to draw my line down the middle. So I have this side will be where my parts will go and this will be where my whole is. I don't know the answer yet. I don't know the whole, but I do know my parts. I know I have 12 and I have 40. Which one is smaller than the other? Okay, you should know that the 12 is smaller than the 40. So we're going to go ahead and draw a smaller part on this side, and then we're going to put the 40 over here. So I'm gonna put 12 and 40, because I know 40 is much larger than 12. So now I'm gonna add 12 and 40. Well, in my head, I can do this very easily because I see that 12, I have a 10 here and a two ones, okay? So 10 plus 40 is 50, 52. So the answer is 52, okay? We're gonna do one more problem. Okay, so let's say we have 36 plus 11. If I draw my part, part whole, I know 36 is larger than 11, so it would look like this. 36 is much larger than 11. So I'm writing 36 here and 11, okay? So I have 47 right here. The reason why we're studying this is so that you understand that 36 and 11 are both parts of a whole number. This will be very important for you to really understand when we get into subtraction because we're going to be looking at this type of part part whole diagram when we move on to subtraction with regrouping or subtraction in general. Alright, so what I want you to do is you are going to draw a diagram at the bottom of your page and you're going to draw a diagram at the bottom of your page for the number 43 plus 21. 